well, that someone could believe the evidence for an empty tomb was sufficient. Uh, evidence um, recorded years after the event by we know not whom and so on. Uh, oh no, hopeless. Uh, then Kaya Nielsen, uh, having trouble with some of my old acquaintance here, uh, he wants to make out that um, uh, there's no difference between the little bang and the big bang. The whole difference is that the little bang occurs within the universe. The big bang is of the universe itself. And Taylor, who is uh, uh, saying, another acquaintance going wrong, um, uh, uh, no difference between uh, uh, what a lion or a fish does and what a human being does. The difference is the difference between human beings and other animals. The fact that we are animals does not justify a direct inference. So, so we're nothing but animals. We're no <laughs> special sort of animals. It doesn't justify any inferences to these manifestly false conclusions. Uh, the one thing that I feel guilty about not doing anything about is the probabilistic arguments. Well, applying probabilities uh, to out, again outside the universe makes it impossible, I think, uh, to Im apply either sort of probability theory, either the propensity theory, because we don't know anything about the propensities of the um, objects uh, considered, and we certainly can't apply a frequency theory, uh, because uh, uh, we um, uh, haven't got any other universes, you know, there may be other universes, but we haven't got them to count there. Uh, this may not be satisfactory, but it's impossible, I think, to uh, give complete satisfaction on every issue within these limits. Uh, so uh, I think the uh, least um, useless thing I can hope finally to do is to stress once again, I have not from the beginning uh, tried to uh, 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 persuade you of the non-existence of God. I said at the beginning, I mean, but think for a moment. Uh, supposing uh, uh, you were asked, supposing you'd recently visited, as I have done, the Metropolitan Museum in New York, and you'd seen a statue of the Egyptian god Horus. One of the interesting things about this god uh, was that the Egyptians in its day uh, believed that every successive pharaoh was an incarnation of that god. Now, uh, uh, would you like to provide a proof of the non-existence of that uh, God, the reason you don't believe in that God is no one's ever mentioned this uh, being before. No one can produce any compelling reasons for believing there was this God. And uh, that's it. So I haven't been trying. What I have been trying to persuade you of is that we are uh, finite, limited human beings. All our knowledge, all our theories are contained within the only universe that as far as we know there is, and certainly the one. Any move we try to make to uh, uh, going on what's non, uh, going on outside is in the last degree speculative. It may be right, it may be wrong, but um, we haven't got any evidencing as opposed to believing, uh, um, sorry, as opposed to motivating uh, reason for believing that there is such a being. And again, I think I will set a good example for my non-existent successors uh, by uh, finishing a few seconds early. <laughs>